Alright guys, welcome to our mess of a game uh, that I have no frames in. Um, so I was unable to film uh, beforehand. So as you can see, we're going to be doing everything live um, instead of being sped up. But first thing we got to do is we got to go over here and we got to put one of our level 2 people onto the new um, theme. Which I guess is the Indonesian theme? Yeah. So we got a new theme with the Arid and Tropical Bundle. Indonesian theme scenery. So we're going to go ahead and look at all that stuff real quick. Well, look at some of the stuff. And then we're going to go ahead and start building an enclosure for the Karkul. And the Karkul is actually going to go on this side. Because we have a new primate. Which I'll show you guys right now. Um, so, can I filter it by pack? No. Um, okay, so the addicts is new, I think. So the addicts is new. The porcupine is new, I believe. Um, and then, let's see. The Asian water monitor is new. I think this camel is new. One of the cam there's a new camel. I know that. Um, the black rhinoceros I think has been in the game. I'm not sure. I don't know fully. Uh, the sloth is new, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, let's see what else. What else? That has been in there for a little bit now. The gazelle might... This gazelle might be new too. I don't remember ever seeing that. I think it's this camel that's new. And then... The emu we've had for a little bit. Um... I think the fossa is new. No, the fossa's been in the game. No, it might be new. I don't know. We, there's a fossa. Um, yeah, I probably should have just looked them up. I think the giant otters are new, because we, we have the other otters, not giant. So I think these guys are new. I'm not sure, though. Um, uh, that guy's been in the game. These are our new primates. So, I gotta put these over there by the other primates. Which I'm pretty stoked about. Oh yeah, see? Those giant otters are new. Because we have the Asian small cloud otter. I think this guy's been in the game. Because he's an he's, he's exhibit animal. Um, What else? Um, I think that's it. That guy might be new. The Okapi? I think that's new. And then now I think that's it. Nope. Red River Hogs are new too. That thing looks cool. Um, I, Now I think that's... Nope. Sandcat. I forgot. Sandcats are also a thing now. And then the Wild Ass is new. I think that's it. Yeah. That's it. So, pretty... Maybe not. The yellow anaconda is new. And this water buffalo might be new. But yeah, so that's all the new animals. Um, we can't look at the scenery just yet. Um, what's happening? That's all stuff that will fix itself. Let's look at the new... Um, so, it's arid and tropical. So there's nothing in the arid in terms of foliage. And then tropical, we have a couple of... That's... Oh, it's upside down, but that's pretty cool. Like a little fern. A basket fern, which is sideways for some reason. A big-ass flower thing, my bob, and then a vine. So in terms of foliage, this is probably the weakest pack. But 
what can you expect? So while that's doing its thing, we'll look at that uh, stuff a little bit later. The uh, sets, um, the themes, fucking items, whatever the fuck. I'm having a stroke. Um, let's do the car cool though real quick, and then we'll worry about the other stuff. So, boom. That's not even that good of a female. Boom and boom. Okay. Let's go take a look at the book, see what we need for them. So 5,000 of space and then some climbing, a grade three, climb proof at 9.9. .9. We're probably gonna go thick glass because it looks good. And then yeah, one and one, okay. So nothing too crazy here. So, okay, okay. Did the game chill out? I have frames again. Fuck off, dude. I don't even want them anymore. I can't get rid of them. That's bullshit. Protesters, seriously? I can't get rid of the flamingos. They keep breeding. They're all y using medicine. I don't know what the fuck the game wants me to do about that. I don't care. That's bullshit, but whatever. I can't do anything. I'm pretty sure, like, the vets are consistently just fucking going in and out. I can't do anything against that, dude. Alright, so let's go do the car cool. Um, so, hold on. Let me think real quick. I think I want the car cool on this side. So I think we're gonna stick with the thick glass. Right there's good. Then we'll go ahead. This is probably going to be a super simple enclosure, I think. I don't think I want to do anything too crazy. And do that about right there. Sorry if there's any background noise. Um, then like that to about right there. It's a weird shape, but it's because I'm kind of just, I'm trying to somewhat plan for the exhibit that's going to walk through exhibit. I think that's good. It should be a good size. Food shops are done. I don't know who I had doing them. Barriers. The habitat gate in right there. Is it just our, uh... Okay, we're good. Um, so... Okay, that's more than enough space. Um, let me look at the water map real quick. Okay, so we're gonna want water and I'm assuming power. Yep. Okay. So let's do that real quick. Um, throw a transformer in. I think I could do right here. Actually, I could honestly do right here. I don't think those monkeys are going to take up that much space. So. God damn it. There we go. That's fine. It's a level off. That's okay. No water treatment. Boom. And then, gotta set it so that he comes every six months. And then, every six months. Otherwise, they break. So that's good there. Um, so now I can go quarantine pass, facility arena. build shit, but I want that fucking, uh, 
research to go through. So I think we're gonna go something like this, and then, yeah. Because I think this is gonna be somewhat like a desert type of enclosure. So nothing too crazy. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and bring them in. That way we can start wrapping shit, or getting shit done. I'm hoping the butterflies aren't too hard to find, because I didn't even think about looking for them right now. I gotta pick two. I think I'm only gonna do like two of the butterflies. And I don't know which ones. So, yeah. I also don't know how to build it and make it look cool. <laughs> Because it's going to look just like the normal walkthrough exhibit thing. So, I don't know how to make that look cool. Because, like, there's this, but I don't even know how they built this. It doesn't make sense to me. Because I have to use this to manually build one. And I can't expand it, you know what I mean? This thing is so much bigger than I thought it was. Fuck. That should be fine still. I'm just gonna place it. Oh, I can't place it. Oh, I can't place it. I can't place it how I want to. Oh, let me, let me go free. That's too straight anyway. Let's hope that I could do something with that. Pause. Just until I get their situation figured out real quick. So, sand. They want a decent amount of sand, which I'm happy about. Because the sand actually looks really good. I, as you guys know, we've barely really used sand. But it does look good when used correctly. This could, th these guys really like their sand. And then we'll go ahead and throw a little light layer of soil. Just in a few spots. And then we'll go ahead and make sure this is all just short grass back here. Boom. So that looks pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the enrichment real quick. Like the normal enrichment stuff. Nothing too crazy. And then I think I'm gonna just do a normal like bed. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with like a basic wood one. Cause these guys are, I mean, they're small and there's only two of them. God damn it, stop with the 15 degree bullshit. Something like that. Make sure it's a little away from the wall. And then we'll go ahead and put the bedding on. Boom, just like that. I think that looks good. I know it's I know it's very simple and nothing crazy, but I genuinely do not know what to do. <laughs> I'll probably add some rocks, but I don't want to build a whole hard shelter out of rocks for these ones. Just because I feel like it wouldn't make much sense. Um, I want to put... Neither one of these trees makes sense to put in here. So I'm not going to put them... I'll just do a normal, like, scratching post. I don't know why I can't really place much shit that way. And then I'll do a spring. So that's good there. Their social will be fine later. The hard shelter should be fine. Oh, and then we gotta do a climbing structure, but I'm not too worried about that just yet. Let's go ahead and do the plants first. Oh. Um, so definitely an African oil palm right there and another one right there just makes it look good and then we'll add we'll add a large aloe right there give it some color 
Add a little bush over here. Make it pop a little bit. We'll add one tree right there. And then we'll add just a little bush there. We will add, I like the sentry ones. Add one there, and then I'm gonna add a little one right there. And then I will add just one little bunch of reeds right there. I think that's it. I don't want to overdo it in terms of foliage. We could do a date palm as well. About right there. I think that's it in terms of foliage. And then I'll add a couple of these desert rocks. Which will also kind of... Not these little ones, but the other ones will kind of help with the hard shelter. Or not the hard shelter, the climbing structure. At least I think. I have a plan in my head. We'll see what happens. But I could do something like that. Just to give it a little bit of texture so it's not so flat. And then I think I will add like a big rock on this side of the hard shelter. Just to kind of cover it up a little. Or not cover it up, but... Make them feel a little safer. Like that. And then, climbing structure wise, I have a few ideas, but let's see. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking of doing uh, something with these. But I don't know, I don't really like those that much. Where's all my other ones? Where's all my little ones? I don't know. We'll do something real quick with this, I guess. Um, they don't need that big of an area to climb on either. So I'll do uh, I'll do something like that, and then I'll have one side. One side is a pole. Like so. Make it... Mm, yeah, make it brown. So, one side will do this. Not what I was trying to do. Fuck, dude. Okay, so like that, and then... Boom. Okay. So we got that. Which should be, I mean, I think that should already be enough for them. But we'll go ahead and do another little ramp on this side just out of the wood. Just like so. Honestly, that should be enough. They need, he, he needs a little more space. So maybe we'll do something like... Oh, hold on. Animal died. 
I already called a keeper over there too, that's crazy. So, let's go ahead real quick and add this to the... Yeah, let's add it to the primate work zone. Or no, I have that one in Asia. Okay, so let's make this Asia. So that's good. They need a little bit more, so I think... Are these motherfuckers just really fast? I don't have the game sped up. So I think I'm gonna do something like... Yeah, they're just really fast. I think I'm gonna do something like... That. And then go with a 4 meter log. Nope, 6 meter log. And rotate it. Oh. Rotate it. I'll eventually get it. Hold on. <laughs> like so. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get a two meter log. Never mind, we'll get a four meter log. And we'll just do something like this just to kind of cover up that bullshit I just did. And we'll do one a little further down just to give it like a look. I think that looks pretty good. Um, Chill out for a second, little guys. Is that enough space? Oh my god. Yeah, it's because I added another one. That hard shelter isn't even enough for them. Fuck. Um. Um. How's that hard shelter not enough for both of them? That doesn't even make sense. What is that? Climbable escape point. Those aren't even in the enclosure. What are you talking? Oh, it can jump on the rocks. Well, I'll just delete those then. It's fine. Alright. I'm just going to leave them, I think, for now. And um, later I'll worry about... Who is fighting? The pronghorn? No. He's an outsider due to maturing. I cannot release it. Okay. I'm like, dude, come on. Only 28. <laughs> How are you not? Okay, one way. It's something else. Who is fighting? You guys are good. You're not. You're not. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, those are the only things that could be fighting, unless it's the raccoons. No, the raccoons ain't fighting. I think we fixed it. Oh, we'll go among bison. Okay, yeah, we fixed it. Dangerous overcrowding with the cheetahs. It's because they all matured. Pause real quick. Um, it's because they all matured at one time. Then you're an 
outsiders as well. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> so many animals, dude. 1300 for that perfect trade, that's hell yeah. Yeah, I'm not trying to have my shit sit up there in the market forever. You know what I mean? Fuck that. Call the keeper over there, because they're hungry. Alright, so now let's go ahead and we'll get the, uh, um, let's get the education done real quick. Duplicate. Put one there. And one there. What is going on? Diseased animal? No. Mm -mm. Uh uh. I took the bison out. How are you still here? I watched, I traded you out. I watched it happen. How are you still here? I'm so confused. It's not blocked. You're a fucking liar. I have called a keeper multiple times. This is why I don't fucking let the game play out while I am filming. That's the New World theme. I need the other theme. Fuck's sake, dude. Everything is happening. It's all happening badly. Dangerous animal escaped. How? Oh. Really? So I'll have to do some weird shit. I guess I could do something like that. I guess the game did warn me, huh? I guess I did literally say, how the fuck can he uh, get out right there? He, it still says he can jump out right here somehow. I gotta let the game play and see how the fuck he can do that. Do it. Jump out. Get the fuck out of the enclosure. I dare you. There's no way you can climb from here and just eat the fuck over, can you? I'll raise this whole motherfucking barrier up. I don't give a fuck. Here you go, 15 feet, dumbass. <laughs> Fucking stupid ass piece of shit. Fucking Timberwolf died. This is why I don't let the game play. That shit's attracting fucking protesters. I can't fix it. I want the flamingos to fucking die. That's why they're all on birth control. So all of them can die. I can't get rid of them. If the protesters want to take them, take them. I've been trying to get rid of them this whole fucking time. Damn. It's because they're both. Uh, they've both been in there for that long. Put them both in there at the same time. Cargo. Duplicate. I'm gonna leave a gap, I think, in between of each one. And then. Go to facilities, guest, uh, just leave it like this. I've got to go ahead and put in uh, benches going down this way. I think one right there and one right there for now. Uh, one right here, one right here, one right there, uh, one right there. We're not going to do all of these right now either. Don't worry about that. 
We're just gonna do the ones over here on our side. What the fuck? It better just be the fucking crocodilians. It is. Okay, we're okay. Um, let's go ahead and do trash cans. I'm still gonna do it. These people are fucking messy, dude. I won't put a recycle bin at every single one, though. I'll do a recycle bin at every other one, and then the ones that don't have a recycle bin will, uh, have a thingamabob. A donation bin. That's the Indonesian thing? That's drink shops. God damn. And as you can see, the ones that don't have the bin will have one of these. Just like so. At research on the orangutan. I just never switched them off of it. I mean, it's fine. We'll learn everything, which is cool. That gap is really. It's alright. In real life, shit ain't perfect, you know? So we don't make it like real life. It's gonna have its issues, but it's still gonna be a good zoo. Functional. And we care about our animals. Except for the fucking. Father, that. Except for the fucking flamingos. Flamingos could go to hell for all I care. I hope the flamingos die soon. All of them. I hope they all get fucking gingivitis and die. Okay, now this thing. We gotta kinda try to figure the fuck out. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> um, so I can make it glass. Which will... Oh, that might be how they did it. I think I'm gonna make it all glass, man. Ah, I kinda like the way that looks. The only thing I don't like is the door. No floor. No door. Kinda have to have a door, though. It has to be that shitty PvP strip. That's not changing anything. Oh, you know what? We should even see if <laughs> if I can do the path right here the way I want to. So I can go in that way. Can I? Like that. Boom. Okay. Because that leaves a little area to add some plants if we want. And some, like, maybe a butterfly sign. Just be like a butterfly exhibit or whatnot. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, dude. Okay. Okay, okay. So now, we gotta get butterflies. The Dukes of Animal Market. So we want to be butterflies. Oh, the peacocks and a an exhibit animal? Is it a walkthrough exhibit animal? Though? I'm assuming so. Um, am I dumb? So we got monarchs, overworld swallowtail. Okay, we'll do these two. So we'll get. We'll start it off light. We'll just get a couple of each because I'm sure they'll get out of hand and then we'll go ahead and send all of these oh my god all the Egyptian fruit bats I think it's because it just throws them in here once it reaches that like limit I set <laughs> so yeah okay 
And then now we can go in here and be like, all right, what do we want to do in terms of, uh, oh, wait. Maybe I can't? I'm going to leave them alone until they get someone established. How do I, uh, oh, I got to do research on them. I got to do research on the guys. Um, okay, let's go with one of our three stars and let's learn about the uh, monarchs. And you can learn about the old world. So eventually this will look cooler. Right now it's going to just stay open. Oh yeah, I should probably assign a keeper. You're right. Um... Work zones. I think I'm just gonna make this one Asia as well. I know it's closer to like the non Asian stuff, but. Huh. Cool. So there's butterflies and stuff in there. Um, I think that's all I wanted to do in the episode today. We got the car cool done, which I think looks pretty good. It's a fairly simple enclosure, but it's like not like a super crazy animal, you know, that a lot of people like, care about, you know what I mean? It doesn't need all that work put into it. These took like an hour and a half each, for the most part. I'm just waiting for the fucking... Oh, flamingos are starting to die. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Yes! Flamingo died. Fuck yeah. Yeah, follow them die, bitch. Sorry, that's fucked, but still. Fuck those. Fuck those fucking flamingos, dude. But yeah, so, I mean, I it'll probably be a couple episodes before we do it, but at some point, I think I want to throw in the sign here, like I said. And, uh, some landscaping, just to make it look good. At some point. I don't know when just yet. And then I want to do those primates right here. And then over here, I haven't decided yet. But I could do those other primate things right here. Then I could do some right here. And we just gotta fill in this guy. I think the enclosure looks good, man. Doles are over here chilling out. I'm pretty happy with it. I really like this enclosure too. It's got a lot going on for how not large it is. And then these are all simple, they're all just rectangles. But I mean, they still, I put in a lot of work into them still. You know what I mean? This whole zoo, man, has been a trip. We're just uh, we're just waiting for the thing so I can show you guys. It should be done soon. Um, I, there's no way to tell when it's done either, huh? Or when it's getting there. It's like, it's there-ish. It's almost there. I, I'm gonna speed up time. Should let it get done a little faster. Um, should we start doing this? Do we need a pond in front of it? I don't think so, right? I think a pond would be excessive. But I already have a couple. So I'm thinking stuff that's very flowery to put in front of it. So stuff like put a couple of these, one right there and like one right here, you know? Stuff that's very, has a lot of flowers. Put a couple of these of varying sizes um, just around, you know? The sign can go on top of all of this. An azalea put an azalea right there which one finished for my... Which one is it? Yes, okay. So now I can show you guys the stuff. Okay. So, let's go ahead and take a look real quick. The construction. Contact pack. Arid. Which I don't... Oh, there's a little bit for arid. And then tropical. So, we have some just... Oh, hold on. That's not what I was... So we have a couple of just like arid signs. 
So the Addix, the Black Rhinoceros is new. The Porcupine, the Gazelle, the Camel, the Sandcat, and the Wild Ass. Ooh, a Bark Panel. This is actually sick. That's actually a good piece of construction. So is that. That's a big ass door handle. And then this is like some cloth shit. That's pretty cool. Then some nice pots. Ooh, a, oh, that's that's sick actually. It's very bright. But Indonesian lanterns, some like uh ooh, like mossy building blocks. So if, you, if I wanted to do like a temple, this is how I would do it. These mossy building blocks. Package bags, a cardboard box. Stuff like that is nice to have because you can make the backgrounds look a lot nicer. It's like a different style of thatch, kinda. So that looks pretty cool. Some bright colored uh, timber stuff. Oh, and then we have like a... Like a, uh, it's a brick, but it looks like the mud walls, which is pretty cool. What is this thing? It's a roof midsection. Looks cool. Hey, you cool, bro. <sighs> oh, this is like a ladder. That's cool. See, so the camel is a part of this pack. The Fossa is new, I was right. The Asian Water Monitor. The Brown Throated Sloth. The Gibbon. Then the Red River Hog. Hell yeah. And then some cool ass statues of each of the animals' heads. That's badass. That's it. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Um. You know what, there's probably even content stuff in here. Yep, so we got a bench, picnic bench, and a bin. That's cool. Pretty cool stuff, man. Anyway, I think that's it, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And next episode, like I said, we'll probably do those primates and do this little section here. So, with that said, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I will see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. And peace out, guys.